Hello and welcome to a packing vlog. We are going to the beach and this is a little bit crazy because we leave for the beach Monday. Today is Saturday. It's about 5, 5.30 p.m. on Saturday. We leave Monday morning at like 3 a.m. Um, and I have not packed a single item. That is so unlike me. It's bizarre and super stressful, but we've just been so busy. So anyways, we are basically going to pack in a way that I don't typically pack. So that'll be fun to follow along on. And I'm going to film our vacation this coming week and we'll share those family memories as well. So make sure you follow along. Here we go. All right. So I've got um, these little items that I picked out for Andrew to hopefully make the road trip, you know, a little bit less stressful. So I got him. He has a couple new items for the road trip down and the road trip back that will hopefully keep him excited. So these will be one item to go together. Um, and I'm going to do them either every hour or every other hour, depending upon how he's doing. A Jackson Storm, which is from Cars 3. Um, this was like, it came as a set of cars and he likes the one that we gave him. So um, this will be a new thing. And then this little Melissa and Doug, um, you can, this is like a water pen. So you can color these like thick cardboard pages with water and then they'll dry white again and you can color them again. And there's a couple of them. Okay. And then that's for the road trip down. And then for the road trip back home, he's got two more of these little cars. Those will each be an item. A Thomas the train. Oops. One of these little like, you know, just little like basically noise machine toys. And then this book was actually from the Target Dollar Spot, which I thought was really cool. And it's just a book about all kinds of things that move. Um, and he is going to love this. So that's his stash of stuff for the way home. All right, this suitcase is pretty much done. So I've got our travel laundry bag and um, that Walmart bag is his like surprise toys for the car ride home. And I've got his diapers here, his swimmy diapers here, um, just some toys. We took like big cars so that we don't have to like struggle to keep up with them. And those are for um, the beach house and then just a handful of books. And then all of our clothes are under here, all of my clothes are there, Travis' clothes are here, and Andrew's clothes are under here. We've got him PJs and like some nice airy clothes in um, his swimsuits. And his shoes are just kind of shoved, you know, here and there. So, <gasps> dang on, I don't want either to hear that. So, the suitcase is done. So back before life got crazy with all the stuff we've had going on the past couple weeks, I started to make a semblance of a packing list and I'm just going to print that out. Um, it's incomplete, but it will serve as some kind of basis because after we, we did really good with packing that first suitcase that I just showed you. And then we both were kind of like, huh? So the list has a lot of helpful stuff on it so far that will serve as like a good launching place for us to hopefully expedite things because tonight we need to go to bed. Um, and then try tomorrow. Tomorrow we have so much to do. Tomorrow's our last day before we leave. This is not going to go in the suitcase. It obviously doesn't fit. Um, we're just going to kind of throw it in the car, but we are taking this. It's really nice and compact and easy to kind of like carry around, you know, with this handle. And it's just from Lake Shores, this little train station and inside on either side, it stores all of this. And then when you're playing with it, you can oh, fold these up. You can fold those up there um, and then it's like a train station that the trains can drive through but it holds the tracks and like the trains themselves so we are taking that to play with in the condo as well all right so i wanted to share the sunblock that we are taking to the beach you can tell i have very fair skin um and my husband doesn't he tans really well um but sunblock is essential okay always wear sunblock you can still get tan with sunblock i'll step off my soapbox so anyways, um, my son, he does like, he, it seems like he's getting a little bit of a tan. I don't tan. I burn, peel, repeat. Um, but we're all about sunblock for him. And we try to stick with, for our son, he's totally mineral sunblock. And for us, we're mostly mineral sunblock. 
um, definitely recommend looking into mineral sunblock as opposed to just chemical sunblock or like, you know, regular what your clothes, regular what you are used to sunscreen, you know, um, just look into it. You might make the change to mineral. Anyways, all right, so for us, for Trevor and I, um, we like this Sunbum. So Sunbum is a really great brand. It's a really clean brand. It's vegan. Um, so we've got, this is a mineral sunscreen spray. And with mineral sunscreen, it is gonna be like white on your skin, you need to rub it in. Anyways, so we get Sunbum. And then this one is not mineral sunscreen, but it's just like a, a higher SPF, it's 50. And they're great. We also like Blue Lizard. This is a very clean brand, great for super sensitive skin. They have it in baby, kids, and adult. They have multiple different lines. This is a mineral sunscreen. This is a Sunbum mineral sunscreen face stick that we use. And then also Sunbum mineral um, sunscreen chapstick because your lips can get burned and that's not fun. Then for my son, we use Blue Lizard. So he has a couple Blue Lizards. This is a brand new one. Um, you can tell because it's still got the Target sticker on it. Um, so this is the baby version and this is the kid version here. So we use Blue Lizard for him. They're both mineral sunscreen. Um, and they're great because the bottle with Blue Lizard, the bottle like actually changes color. Actually, I don't know if it does on the new ones. Yep, so the cap changes color when you're in like harmful UV rays, which you should already have some walk on your kids by at that point, but anyways. Um, Think Baby is also really great and clean mineral sunscreen that's really good if your kid has eczema sensitive skin. And so is Pipette, this one's almost empty. Um, I got this as a free sample actually and really, really love it. It's great, it doesn't aggravate his skin. Um, the other great thing about mineral sunscreen is it doesn't like smell like sunscreen. Once you put it on, it doesn't have that like greasy feeling. It's kind of like you just rubbed lotion in. You really don't feel it on your skin. You don't smell like sunscreen. So win-win. So that is our beach sunscreen. I'm packing um, our toiletries bag and I wanted to share these two little things. Um, I am not, I don't identify as like an oily person. You know what I'm talking about? Um, but these are really great. So these are by Young Living Essential Oils and my mom got these for us um, and they are really, really excellent for travel. So the Snifflies and the Sleepy, I don't know how you say that, Sleepy Eyes, um, they are rollerball oils, which is really awesome for travel. And so you can just put it on, you know, the bottoms of their feet or like their collarbone or whatever to just kind of help, like if they're having trouble sleeping with all the travel or if they happen to get the sniffles. And these are just, I mean, like I said, they're perfect for travel because I have this like little one, that little oil I was gonna take, but the roller ball is just so much easier to put it on your child. So love these. Also wanted to share about this. Um, this stuff is amazing. I got it on Amazon and I will try to link it down below if I can find it. So it's a green salve for bites, bumps, and bruises by the brand Mother Love. And basically, if they get a bug bite or, you know, like a small little abrasion or anything like that, you can put it on it and it really helps to, um, like take some of the itch away, helps with the inf inflammation. And it's just like a nice kind of like holistic thing to have on hand. It's very clean ingredients. Where's the ingredient list? Yep, says takes the itch out of insect bites and other skin irritation. So it's just a really nice thing to have on hand. And then um, when he was a baby, we would take a lot more medicine than this, but I'm just taking Zyrtec and Tylenol. And then he has, um, we're taking his little thermometer just in case. And then uh, of course he has his EpiPens and his Benadryl in the diaper bag. <sighs> All right, so I'm making really, really good progress on packing. I mean, maybe this last minute packing thing, I don't know, it's kind of appealing. <laughs> it's it's stress, but it's like, you know. Um, I told you I had that like kind of rudimentary list that I had started and that has been super helpful. Um, I think I'm honestly almost done. All of our clothes are there. It's just kind of like little things 
that I need to, Trevor took Andrew to the park so I could get some stuff done. Um, and I'm, you know, like I'm cleaning the house and everything too. I've got the robot vacuum going. I've started emptying the trash cans, cleaning out the fridge. Um, just kind of like making a little list for like last minute stuff before we run out the door at 3 a.m. And I think I'm, I'm pretty good. It's just a couple last minute things. I need to double check with Trevor that um, if he has or like needs, you know, um, and then a couple things that we're going to be using that we can pack as we use them throughout the day, like his um, monitor and charger, you know, after his nap, then we can pack that, things like that. But it's just kind of like as we go throughout the day and then we're packing the car and I'm really, really hoping that I don't have to take two giant suitcases. We'll see. I've got one giant suitcase packed and then I'm working on a backpack and like a smaller, you know, like carry on size luggage piece. And then of course I've got like our car bag that has all the snacks and the special little gifts and the tablets and a tablecloth for our lunch picnic and things like that. Um, and then things that are just like really odd shapes that aren't going to be able to fit in a suitcase. They're just gonna have to go in the car like that train set I showed you. And also his beach toys. Like he's got a giant sand dump truck and like a sand bucket filled with a bunch of other sand toys that like I could fit that in a suitcase, but it almost feels like that would be pretty stupid because then I'm, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't fit well. So I'm just kind of, yeah. Anyways, we're getting really close. We need to pack the car. It is lunchtime. They're about home. We need some lunch, put the beeps down for a nap. And then, um, see what we can do here. We're getting really close. We're getting really close. All right, car is packed. So we've got the stroller, his um, high chair booster, the beach chairs, behind the beach chairs is the beach umbrella, and then our big suitcase. Um, and then in the morning, we're throwing in a backpack there and an orange little carry-on there. And then back here, we've got his little train set, all of his beach toys, and then Buzz and Whittier for the car ride. Um, and then we've got our little trash bag down there. And then Trevor's gonna be riding back there with Andrew um, and the pillows and all of that. And up here will be our coolers and the diaper bag and the snack slash car bag and all of that stuff to be readily accessed as needed. So here we go. Well, packing is pretty much done. There's just a handful of things. I've got my little list for um, tonight and for the morning. And other than that, everything's packed. The car is pretty much ready to go. Um, so I'm just starting on my sangria. We have to finish up the bottle before we leave. Um, we're gonna have dinner and then turn in for an early night here soon. So thank you so much for watching this packing vlog. And I hope that you'll stay tuned for the week ahead of our family at the beach. So thanks again for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, my God.